A car in Belgorod damaged after a drone fell on it. One of dozens from the Ukrainian side of the border that Russia says it shot down on Tuesday night. It follows an audacious incursion into Russian territory from Ukraine. Local authorities say the assailants killed one civilian after opening fire on a car. The Kremlin claimed Russian forces had killed what it called 70 armed Ukrainian nationalists. But the two units who claimed responsibility for the attack are made up of Russian insurgents. One of them, the Freedom of Russia Legion, includes renegade Russian military personnel, and the other is the far-right Russian Volunteer Corps, founded by Denis Nikitin, a neo-Nazi who has lived in Germany. Kiev said it did not have any involvement in the attack, but security experts believe Ukrainian authorities have links to the insurgent groups. We have to realise that these are not independent forces. Although the claim is, you know, Kiev is saying this has nothing to do with us, these are just Russian volunteers, they are controlled by Ukrainian military intelligence. Images from Russian state TV showed US-made Humvees purportedly destroyed during the incursion. The United States, for its part, was evasive on questions about American military hardware being involved. I, the tax, I will say that we're skeptical at this time of the veracity of these reports. Uh, as a more general principle, as we've said, and I believe I said yesterday, we do not uh, encourage or enable strikes uh, inside of Russia, and we've made that clear. Um, uh, but as we've also said, it is up to Ukraine to decide how to conduct this war. There have been previous incursions into Russian territories by drones during the 15-month war, but never on such a scale. It opens up the possibility of Moscow having to fight on a second front ahead of Ukraine's long-expected counteroffensive.